any one sovereign state for agreements on procedures for good relations among sovereign states. First, all delegates understand your concerns about the power of government as it affects the freedoms and rights of the citizen. Some demand that personal liberty be protected from a government with power to make laws for all sovereign states. Others feel equally deeply that we need a government structure strong enough to knit together sovereign states with many separate peoples in three or four geographic and economic regions. We therefore understand the great challenges we face as we seek agreement on matters affecting all 13 sovereign states. For example, small states, as well as large states, must have balanced power in representation to make laws fair to all states. The jurisdiction of a state government versus the jurisdiction of a united or federal government must be resolved and we face the, the deeply divisive issue of slavery in conflict with the enduring noble wording of our Declaration of Independence. While Thomas Jefferson is in Paris, as our minister to France, he still guides us. I'd like to quote now. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. End of quote. While the Declaration confirms the right of the people to alter or abolish their government. I quote, prudence indeed will dictate that government long established should not be changed for light and transient causes as we meet to strengthen our Articles of Confederation. We delegates are committed to preserving the principles of our Republican system of government. We are pledged as we're the signers of the Declaration with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence. We mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortune, and our sacred honor. We convention delegates will have an equal commitment, I can assure you. 